pattern on this wine bottle holder, we're going to draw it directly on the wood. I've divided the width of the wine bottle holder in half. It happens to be three inches across, so I made a mark here at inch and a half and one here at inch and a half. And I'll draw my center line down the middle. Next comes to divide up the space from here down to the end. I'll do that using my metric scale. It comes out to 224 millimeters. So that would be 11 is 220 plus two more. There's the center. Now I'll take my T-square. And I'll make a line across the center to divide it up. So there's the space that we're working in. I'm going to draw three rosettes that overlap in this space. I'll be needing a compass to draw these rosettes. Make sure the lead is good and sharp. And the diameter of each of the three rosettes is going to be 70 millimeters. So that's seven centimeters. So I'm going to set this at the radius, which would be half of that, which would be three and a half centimeters or 35 millimeters. Okay, so set at 35 millimeters. I'm all set to draw my first circle. With the first circle drawn at the center point, I'm ready to draw a six point rosette. I want to start the point of my compass on the edge where it intersects the outside of the circle. From there, I'll draw six arcs from edge to edge. Next, I want to draw these circles on the outside of this rosette. To do that, the easiest way is I'm going to draw these overlapping circles on each edge first. So I want to set the point of my compass on the center line and the lead where it intersects this point here and this point here. And I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Now I've formed my three overlapping circles that will form six point rosettes in each of those. And to make this easier to draw these other petals in here, I'm going to use a template. I've got a template that's about a 70 millimeter circle, so that'll be perfect for drawing these arcs from here to here. If you don't have a template, you can do this with your compass as well. I'm going to repeat those same steps on these outer two circles. With these three rosettes drawn, we're set to make a decision on how we want to carve each of the rosettes. I'm going to carve them by removing these entire chips, the six petals on the inside and the six on the outside. I'm going to remove them in this fashion, 
with one cut on each side. Now for some of you, if you're just a beginning carver, those chips may be too large. If that's the case, go ahead and take your straight edge and divide each of those chips in half and divide the outer ones in half. That will give you much more manageable chips to work with. Next we're going to draw the pattern on the edge of our wine bottle holder. To draw the pattern on the edges of our wine bottle holder, here's how you begin. Take a T-square that has your metric divisions on the side. You'll see that the wine bottle holder measures 26 millimeters in depth. Okay, so it's 26 millimeters. Find the center and make a mark. That's 13. From there, count over 5 and make a mark and count back 5 and make another mark. From each of those marks, measure over 2 millimeters and a millimeter and a half. 2 millimeters and a millimeter and a half. That's the initial markings for the edges of the wine bottle holder. Next, I'll be using a flat line trammel set attached to my combination square to make the lines along the edges of the board. If you don't have a flat line trammel set, that's not a problem. What you'll do then is make these marks at another spot and use a straight edge to connect the dots. But I'm going to use this. It speeds things up. I'll first begin by setting setting it to the center mark and then it's just a matter of sliding sliding my wine bottle holder underneath the trammel set to make the mark. I'm going to do this around all the edges. Okay, so here I'll do it on the top edge as well. It's a little hard to stay on camera. And I'll do it down the second side in the same manner. And I'll repeat that same procedure for each of the remaining marks. I'll just make the adjustment on my trammel set. And from there, come in a little bit more. And from there I'll make that same mark along the edge. With all the lines drawn around the edges, go to the top and take a flexible ruler, bend it around the curve on the top, and find the center. It'll be 40 millimeters from one edge to the center. Make a mark and then count off every 5 millimeters and make marks from there, 5 millimeters each direction will divide up the top section into five millimeter sections when you use your T-square or combination square from the edge to draw those lines. Now you only need to draw the lines from the center three lines. Okay, the outer lines are for straight lines. This is for our pattern in the center. So the middle line and one each way is where you draw that cross line. So you're forming five millimeter squares across here and we'll do the same thing on the edge. To lay out the sides, start at the top, count by fives, all the way down until you hit 27 centimeters. When you hit 27 centimeters, you can stop right there. Then take your T-square or combination square and make these lines across the center just like you did on the top. 